Hey guys, welcome back to Cody's Farms. Hope you're having a good uh, Wednesday. Oh, I've never had that happen to me in a while, but hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. If you are, smash that like button. Man, it is beautiful outside. It was dark and like, look, you can still see some of the dark clouds. It's kind of dark and cloudy over there. It's all moving that way. It looks sunny, like you see the sun's out. But, as you saw from the title, as you guys will see, as you guys <laughs> saw from the title, you know what today's video is about. It's uh, Cody's Farm Tour. The tour of the shop um, and the equipment. So, now as I said, I'm not a big farmer. I'm not like one of the, I'm not, I don't have combines or big John Deere tractors. I just have a Cub Cadet LT 1550, a small tiller, and a small dump trailer. So. But, besides the point, I will be farming this year, like Ashley Varmint. But let's jump into the video. So we have the main garage. The garage right here is the main shop. So you guys have seen it in a lot of videos probably. Um, definitely have seen it in a lot of videos. So, so we got the quad, we got my Raptor, 660R, we got engine rebuilt. The engine is rebuilt. The video that I'm posting before this one, I said, and it, I'm like, my quad's not rebuilt yet, but that was the video that was filmed a, uh, a couple of weeks, like that was the week that I was rebuilding it, so the weekend. So we got it rebuilt, looking better than ever. Um, I still need to put some stuff on, like the muffler needs to get bolted in, plastics need to be bolted in, but other than that, got our air compressor over there, um, got my battery charger right here, charge up batteries, got my log splitter, um, got my Cup Cadet LC1550 right here, and we got my tiller over here. That hasn't been run since last spring. Now, you guys will be seeing a video of that. I will be making a video with this in it, the tiller. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, I got our power washer over here. We've got our power washer right here. As I said, guys, this is a farm shop tour and equipment. So we got that, the tiller, power washer, the jack. Now this is an equipment, but the tiller and the power washer and my tractor, and of course my four-wheeler. Even though my four-wheeler is a sport quad, it's still, it's, you know. I, I still can go check on chicken. I can still go check on the chickens and stuff on it when I'm riding, so. All right, so that's the main, this is the main shop. That's the main shop. So, last November, we added this overhang, so we can store stuff in there too. So that's the main, this is the main shop right here. I had the door open, but I wanted to show you guys the overhang. As I said, we have the trailer over here. The trailer is also a part of the equipment. So we have this trailer here. We have this trailer right here. This is the one that I used in that video, Day in the Life of Chicken Farmer. That, that was the trailer. And then we have our uh, bale trailer. And this is what I would haul the small bales that I make. Now guys, I do make bales. As I said, I'm not a farm like a big farmer or anything. I don't have big equipment, but I figured out how to make bales using old style whenever they didn't have balers. And so I'll show whenever spring comes and I had to bale the hay and stuff, I'll show you guys that. And if you guys are wondering, does anyone tell you you need to do this? No, I do it because I feel like it, and that's it's good. You know, spend time as much outdoors more than inside playing video games. If you're a kid, you live in the country. You understand, but if you, you know, don't spend your life inside you're playing video games, spend time with family, friends. Um, because life is not about video games, life's not about that, it's about family, friends, all that other stuff can wait. Like, nighttime, that's I spend most of the time playing video games at night, so I get work done here on the farm and hang out with my family at the same time. <laughs> um, so we got our shed over here. We got our shed. I'm not gonna show you guys inside it because it's kind of a mess, but this is where we store um, 
some stuff like you know like the tiller was stored in there for all winter but uh my push mower's in there as well so that's that we got our pond that doesn't hold water you guys have seen that on cody's farms um yeah you've seen that while i'm riding so we got that um we got our burn pile right here that we're gonna we'll probably burn that sometime uh eventually <laughs> but let's go this way so i do whenever this grass normally gets mowed this all grows up to be big patches and stuff i can mow it all i mow that bail that my backfield over there i don't really bail it i kind of just mow it to make it look good and then don't do anything with it so that's that um but i'll see you guys i gotta do a quick thing real quick so i'll see you guys later. Yeah, so we have our field out here with a big field this is the main field that i ride in now i do mow i do mow this part of it because it does grow up and then i bail it most of it i bail it um it just, there's like certain after so many times of bailing you kind of just let it go and don't do anything with it so that's kind of how i do it anyway because you don't for chicken for my chicken for chicken farms like this one like smaller chicken farms and stuff i mean you don't really have to worry about um having so much like bales to put in there thing i just use the grass barrels for the outside i get i go buy some straw bales for the front so tonight is gonna be a little bit of a busy night because tomorrow's thursday um i gotta do some paperwork i gotta sign some paperwork do some stuff for calculate see even though i'm a small farm even though i don't have big equipment combines big fields this is a big field right here though i guess that's true this is a big field but that's one of my neighbor's fields over there this is where i plant the crop that i do you guys will be seeing this in a future video once i till it up which might be today who knows i'm gonna figure that out but as you guys see you always see the chickens out here we got the chicken pen over here we got our chicken pen right here and i need to come in here and clear all that that plastic out whenever we had baby chicks and stuff whenever we moved out in spring we put them in there so there's that pretty much all on the farm so um, at least this area of the farm i would show you guys back in the backfield but i don't want to um it's kind of a mess back there so i do really quick i do mow this now i've been riding through it and stuff got it plot down enough so i might plant some crop out here like some corn or whatever i don't know i'm, I'm still calculating that am i gonna plant in this field or am i just gonna plant in the small garden and I'm, i mean in the smaller part of the field and have that but i do mow all this i don't bail all this though this guy kind of, just kind of mow it down to keep it nice and stuff that's why that side's that's i got mowed down pretty nice this side isn't yet uh, maybe by spring i'll do that um it is kind of spring here though it is almost spring anyway um uh, thank goodness it is almost spring here in indiana but so I'll, i'm like but and then i'm like so wait what am i saying so yeah so that's that that's that stuff so if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button i'll see you all in the next episode i mean next video on cody's farms if you did enjoy the video uh please hit that like button and uh hope you guys did enjoy um i'm gonna go check my fence looks like someone cut some trees down hopefully they didn't ruin my fence because um i was like well i'll go i'll show you guys the fence line over here too though i guess